It also doesn't feel like they can go... I mean, there's a lot of kite here again from Quap and they go... There's a lot of information on where your heroes are all the time. It's not like they could be like pulling or stacking their own jungle. And Kuro's actually got an early uh, TP scroll and Queen of Pain as well, just in case there's a dive in any of the lanes. And Pod has gone for that early point in Meld, so it does make it even harder, right? They're gonna need vision if they want to go for this gank, though. So speaking of which, Refractions all popped up. Ice Shard is blocking the way, and Supreme needs some sort of help. It's probably just gonna fall to the auto attacks. One more will do it, and that's our first blood, but they're not done yet. So we'll come over onto Disruptor and L, probably wishing he wasn't there. The Glimpse away, but oh, one. He gets out on two health. That was. He may have actually gone down to one, and I missed it when he was at one. So, Disruptor living. They're gonna go in on the gyrocopter to the top lane, but cancelling that here. Yeah. yeah, it's not something I think they can do with an attack. Robert probably gonna fall here. The snowball one more auto attack will get it. Tusk getting that kill and oh now it looks like they're diving onto bottom. They get the dragon slave off. Quap coming in, thinking about throwing out a shadow strike if she can just find Nisha. Nisha wandering around has that sprint, so it looks like he'll get away. But as you said, I mean we're four minutes in and we have a three thousand gold lead for Liquid. That's a little ridiculous. Yeah, well, Exotic Deer is actually in trouble here as well. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. Exotic Deer is gonna go down. They do have a charge coming out towards Mind Control. They're pinging her out. They're gonna go for this. Nisha going in. Slithering Crush should be coming. He goes for it. Manages to get it off. Life Strike Array though. It could hit two of them. They're very close up. She's going for it. They managed to split and avoid it, but Nisha is so low. One more auto attack will do it. They'll get Mind Control. Oh, will they pop the salve? She's walking around. She's still salving up. Oh, the ice shots come in. They do manage to get her. Robert is somewhere in the trees. Actually charges out. I think it would have been safer to hide. He goes for Kuroki, but now he might just be kited around. Kuroki is also popping a salve. Has the Shadow Strike and Robert in a lot of trouble. Jerex doesn't have any mana. Let's see what they can do here. Robert, you gotta juke. You gotta hide, but there comes the mana. He goes for the charge. Onto Kuro, if he can get a bash here, he gets it, and now Tusk is killed under the tower as well. Not at all how I thought that engagement was gonna go down. Yeah, actually, Liquid, none of the heroes needed to die. I think that Lena dies because Quap blocks her a little bit, and then Ooh. okay, at least getting the kill there. But what a punk. Uh, Tusk... second cooldown on Slithering Crush, so we should be seeing another one coming out. But instead, the charge has to be used, and oh no, here comes Walrus Man, the life striker he hits. She's in the snowball, they're gonna have to wait on the Slithering Crush, they catch out Mind Control. Jerex does have a haste, so he should be able to wander away, and there's a cooldown coming in. Robert, he doesn't have charge for two more seconds, and it looks like he'll be dead, but he gets the bash! Gyrocopter's gonna finish them off, but holy Hannah, I... ...up to 25, so definitely doesn't start at 17. But Slaughter, also a hero that can be a real pain. Now they're charging onto Kuroki, I'm a little bit surprised by this. We also have some engagement, Jerex wrapping around. Kuroki's just gonna blink away, and guess who is there, but they glimpsed it back in. I don't know if that's exactly what they wanted to do. They're gonna get him with that thunder strike, and now Robert G has to get out. They lost the Ursa for it, so not some success in that aggression, and that means they're signs of life. Team Ultimate Taunt in the series. So they're gonna see. Oh, we're going on top again. We got the bashes. Axe, uh, not Axe, but Jerax going down. I read. And that's good value from the charge, even if they don't kill him, but it looks like they might be able to do that too. Mm, there's an ice shot, the charge, oh, he stops it with the snowball, there's gonna be a nice EMP tornado coming out. Potter still has a lot of refractions, and here comes the cooldown, Slaughter's been taken out already. Supreme has to get all the way out of there, Flag Cannon doing a lot of work, they pick up Kuroki, but now Exotic Deer is in a really bad spot. He pops that ult, taking 80% less damage, but he's cut off, I think he has to turn and fight, he's burning through the refraction charges, but they have the new set fresh up, Exotic Deer needs help. We see that he, Invoker goes down, he goes down down l goes down only when making out of life is the spirit breaker and not the team and, but uh, like with that spirit breaker at what where two of them just died and it's, it's a lesson that every team i think has to learn at some point that just because you're supposed to be the better team in the series doesn't doesn't mean you can just you know do whatever the hell you want and no. your ex now uh, maybe the one is going to be punished Except they're charging in onto the Lena, they have to get the damage onto Jerex, he has some creeps he can snowball to instead. He goes in and- but there's a pull that lots of auto attack on Jerex, would've gotten the kill. Fodder is here now though, Exotic Day tries to use that ground pound to slow them all something, and as I say, clean kill Supreme taking a lot of damage. If Mind Control comes in here, Laguna Blade could just get the kill, they need something to stop, she goes for the Dragon Slave, here comes Kuro, gets charged through though, needs some help, we're seeing Lena taking a lot of damage, 
Oh my goodness, the Sonic Wave miss is coming out from Kuro. Supreme is just standing right next to them. She can just scream on you, Supreme. She might just kill you. Uses the tornado to stop the teleport. Smarter in a bad spot, but he may just kill them all. There's a charge coming out from Kuro. They managed to, or onto Kuro. They managed to kill off Kuro. Fodder has refractions up. He's gonna pop some 17 more seconds on that. The glimpse comes backwards. They need to burn through these refractions. Fodder looking to work on Robert. No, he is just looking to get all the way out. Earn charges come out and goodbye Fodder. That was a dive if I've ever seen one. Yeah, so this is uh, so just runs at her, destroys her, and then everyone else goes down afterwards. And it's, it's of Lina going down. She's about to go down again. She manages to stop the charge, but Nisha on the back line, ready to give you some of that bash. Can they get bashes between the two of them? Nisha actually doesn't have points up in bash yet, so not contributing. In I As I say that, look, we're going for the more conservative play, just going for the rush, playing it safe. And I also have to say, I really like this. Wolf time Supreme was on the Invoker, he tends to pick up a big major item before getting the Midas. It's kind of an odd play when you think about it. Quop will be able to just blink away. She actually blinks down, tries to go for the TP, doesn't realize the charge is coming for her. But this is all just buying time for the Roachon. I mean, Quop may die, they get the Roach. Gyro Cup is going to happily pick this up, and suddenly the rest of Alternate realizes. Break on the enemy team, so it, it's a good thing he's a support, and his team can take those trade offs and say, well, Rush is worth it. Oh, Goodness, as we're speaking out whether Rush was worth it, but Tumba Man may just be losing this Aegis. He's going to go down here. Auto attack's finally burning through. He does a lot of damage to Robert. Can the rest of Liquid use this to set up a kill? Certainly, the Spirit Break is going down. Will there be more? Either way, I think burning the Aegis is always worthwhile, but Supreme playing really far up. Maybe he didn't realize that Fodder has a haste. Tornado comes out. It just hits onto Fodder, but there's the slow. There's going to be a nice little stun on him. Mud Golem doesn't have the cooldowns, but Supreme taking a lot of damage anyway. They pick off Disruptor, and I think. I keep talking about this dynamic that they could have been well, Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is Slaughter in trouble. Yeah, this is Yeah, dead. it's looking like Slaughter's gonna be going down. The rest of the team smoked up, not quite able to make it. They're TPing in, and if Disruptor comes in, he drops a nice static jolt onto one. Also, a kinetic field. They're working on the back lines. Mind control taking a lot of damage. They need more, though. A huge Sonic wave comes out, and Exotic Deer. He might have the 80% damage reduction, but it is not enough. Although, it is enough to stop that Laguna Blade from killing him, but not the Gyro Cup to follow up. And Supreme, the sole survivor, and maybe only for a little while. He needs to get something off. He's actually juking around. The tree. He doesn't have ghost walk or anything, and so he's going to fall as well. At five. So, I think most things looking pretty good for Team Liquid. And mid. Okay, he's just chasing with his team. They're going for the slaughter. Yeah, the slaughter is going to get killed. I think he's trying to buy time by going off into the trees there, and sure that these two manage to get away. Liquid overextends. They can make something of it, and they've got an Invoker who's really good at taking the fights on his own terms. And speaking of Invoker, he's gonna use the Tornado, the Static Storm is dropped, they have to get the skill on Kuroki now or never. But instead, it looks like he might just be able to walk away, no such luck, they get Alina as well. Talk of overextension. And Liquid giving them some big kills. Um, can they get more though? They're yeah. going in onto yeah. Matumba Man. Oh goodness, it looks like Matumba Man in a lot of trouble. They need a bash, the charge comes out, he also cancels his TP and Matumba Man. Exploding yeah. into bits and pieces. And this is exactly, I mean, the chasing and catching power of Alternate's draft is like such that when you, yeah, when you make mistakes, suddenly it snowballs into your whole team gets killed. Yeah. And it looks really, like your X is Queen X. Really impressive play from Alternate. They're gonna get four here when I think that they should have gotten maybe one. The Kuro, who jumped really out of position. This game, because I'd usually like to see the BKB, but I don't think it's right. Well, Mind Control, get the use off to cancel the Spirit Breaker's charge, but yeah. that's not just a Spirit Breaker. And he's gonna go down, there was TP support coming up from Jerax, there should be more now, but they go for the Nether Strike. Jerax is in the snowball, he's rolling in towards the Spirit Breaker, another bash, of course. Gonna be a call down from Matumba Man, but everybody getting all the way out of it. And another great two- Anyway, Jar is slow, go I, 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 it's a tough call, like it's, it's, mm -hmm. I just definitely don't think he should crash it. Oh, they've caught Fodder out of position. Goodbye, Templar Assassin. And that is a huge kill. Despite the fact that they've been making some strides for a comeback, Fodder is still top of the net worth. Yeah, that's over a thousand gold lining the pockets of Ultimate now. Uh, or gold exchange. At the same time, Supreme, he is going down. There is no way out of here. He is dusted. One more auto attack. Doesn't even need the Laguna Blade. So quite a few core heroes out of position. And it's something else, as you mentioned. Oh, we have a charge coming out onto Matumba Man. I'm really surprised Spirit Break is going for this. This is under a T1 tower. A lot of TP rotations coming out now from the tier 2, but he has the blade mail. A lot of damage being returned. Snowball is keeping the backline heroes all caught up, and Spirit Breaker is dead. And suddenly, alternate, they need to get all the way out of there. There's going to be a blink away disruptor. Luckily, not caught in the ice dog. Still may be in a lot of trouble. Goes for the TP, but Sonic Wave is going to be the end of that. And 
As you mentioned, a lot of over aggression coming out of folks that's I'm assuming it's gonna be a heaven's halberd to stop maybe Templar Assassin or somebody else. Of course, popping your BKB will remove that. Oh, but we've got a Slytherin crash onto Kroki. There's gonna be oh no, the full stop. Who used that? I don't even know, but it's gonna stop the Sun Strike. Kuroki still goes down, but now they've committed a lot for that kill. Their support disruptor falling as well. Exotic Deer in a bad spot, but the Nether Strike, he pops that ult and just goes for the TP. The rest of his team is still kind of fighting. A tornado comes out, there's also a really nice EMP, but it's gonna end up just burning Fata's mana, and again, an overextension. Who had the... Yeah, so Roshan is like very obviously happening right now. There's only three heroes alive to contest though, and Tusk is just trying to stand in zone. Yeah, and now this is actually trouble. Slaughter's definitely gonna be in trouble. It's not gonna work. There's a charge on the mid lane actually no. onto Fata. Uh, Nisha actually went in. It didn't end up going nearly as tall as I thought it would, and they've turned their aggressions onto mind control, but she's trying to get the kill on Supreme. There's also a. Oh, not a negative own charge coming up. Mind control gonna be stunned up, taking a bit of damage. From that thunder strike, but now Robert G having it turned around on him, and let's see if they can get out. This is support for offlaner. Maybe you're happy with that a bit. That storm and exotic gear is in the back lines, ripping away at them. Cobb actually blinks in. I think she wanted to use that ult, but is unable to. They stop the Tumper Man from escaping, and Nisha thinking about going in for more. I actually think if he. Or you've used your stands. There's nothing you can do to stop me getting out. So um, really nicely played. There from Exotic G. I still think he needs more. He's suddenly a hero can turn around, but Tumba Man is super deep. I know you've got the ages, but don't just burn it. He's actually acting as if he has a lot more support. Pop gonna use the Sonic Wave on the side. Gets enough damage with the Black Cannon, but now the Tumba Man, this might be one life down. Can they get to Exotic D is in a really bad spot? And he's already popped that ulti. The tornado it misses and doesn't hit the right timing. So Exotic Gear should be going down. And now they have to defend high ground without a lot of those core heroes. They're also gonna lose L on that disruptor. This could just sell the end because how is full so fast when you've got a hero like Fodder with a Deso. That's uh, such insane value from the edges actually. I mean, you're questioning it and I wasn't sure about it because the, the allies were only like heading their way in. But I think it's actually a good judgment that now's the time to run in, force them to take down my Aegis. And the timing worked out almost perfectly. It's, 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 the rest of his team had arrived by the time he respawned. Yeah, it ended up being a really good play and while it looked worrisome, uh, Suddenly working out for them. Supreme trying to do what he can. He is going for that Orchid, and as we talked about, it's a bit questionable here. Especially, oh, there's going to be a nice glimpse back. He's still inside their base. He's just going to walk out the front door, and now Fodder coming in. L may go down again. Mel Strike takes over half of his health. A nice little EMP. It should steal some mana, but they've already lost the Disruptor. They've got a nice charge through all of them. The Slithering Crush is on cooldown, and now Fodder pops that BKB, and he is burning through everybody. Supreme going to go down. I would be surprised if we see GG's being called, because they are losing another Rax in this bottom lane. While the, all of this is happening though, BKBs have been burnt, so maybe they get off a 5 man Slytherin curse, they're going for the charge through, Exotic Deer jumps in, trying to kill off Mind Control, wants to stop that hero that can control him, but Tumba Man put in the snowball, Lina has brought back, he's using it all the way back out of waste, big Sonic Wave coming up, but Tumba Man, he falls, but it's, as he dies, the cooldown gonna get a lot of kills, and Mata also getting a lot of those, we've got buybacks coming out of a lot of members of the Radiant lineup, Ursa still going in on Fodder, do they have any sort of vision, they go for the Slytherin cross, Robert is trying to work on Derek though without any help, and now Exotic Deer being brought down, Laguna Blade, that's a dieback, and now Nisha looking to be in the same position, finally the Disruptor has respawned, but Spirit Breaker, he's dead, there's gonna be maybe a kill on Derek, maybe a kill on Kuroki, I'm not sure that Fodder is gonna leave their base alone though, they glimpse him backwards, trying to get him away from the fight, and L still taking a lot of damage, Kuroki's got him, oh he even drops his arcane boots, and Kuroki destroys them, that's so sad. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a GG call, that's like one last opportunity to show some mechanical skill, quickly drop your items before you die. Yeah, always sad, ruining the stats. I know the stat people hate it when they uh, destroy items, but either way, it's still a really great best of three. I was really impressed that Alternate managed to take a game off of Liquid, and I think this one had its close moments too. Uh, yes, I can check that for you right now if you just give me a second. I think both groups are actually a bit...